Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. If it's possible to find more intriguing news than this one, a source for the article has confirmed that Kelly Monaco's character Sam McCall would eventually meet his demise. McCall slash Monaco's departure is anticipated by fans for the fall of 2024. Kelly was reportedly blindsided to find that the producers had decided to kill off her character. In October 2003, Kelly Monaco made her debut as Sam McCall at General Hospital. She appeared in two roles on the sister serial opera Port Charles before joining G.H. Olivia Liffey Lock Morley and Tess Ramsey. Monaco has had two nominations for Daytime Emmy Awards throughout her time in the soap opera industry. She won two awards, one in 2003 for her performance as Port Charles in the Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series category, and another in 2006 for her part as Sam McCall in Gay's Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series category. Since 2020, soap opera veteran Lindsay Hartley has filled in for Sam on occasion. This has happened several times. Actually, Hartley filled in for one program as recently as last week, but Kelly Monaco returned to the role of Sam starting with a Monday, August 26 broadcast. According to General Hospital teasers, with Monaco's departure from the daytime soap and her character being killed off, all dreams for a romantic reunion between just Sam and her partner can now be dashed. Sam and Jason Morgan's Steve Burton Romance was one of the most popular supercouples on Gish and in daytime soap operas. The Tuesday, August 27 Mai, and our recap shows that Billy Abbott is getting shots. Billy has a flashback of Chelsea Lawson's admission. Billy takes another shot, stands up, tosses a bill against the bar, and storms out. Billy appears to be on a mission. In a flashback, Adam is asked if he had slept with Chesilsa in Baltimore by Sally Spectra. Adam remembers telling Sally lies. Adam then remembers Chelsea's acceleration. As Adam begins to sprint towards the door, Sally descends the stairs. Where is Adam going? Is what she wants to know. Alan is out on a date with Tracy. Tracy queries his thoughts. Alan feels he should be going to jazz clubs more often, preferably with her. Tracy worries that living in Geno City might make Alan bored. Anne states that he intends to move soon. Maybe I should have discussed it with you earlier, but it's all right, right? Alan asks. I and R recap. The heartbreak of Sharon Newman. Joshua Morrow's character Nick Newman and Sharon Newman's character Sharon Case implore their daughter to wake up. Lucy, who is still unconscious, is in the adjacent room with Heather Stevens, Vale Bloom, and Daniel Romolati, Jr., Michael Grassidi. Lucy wakes up all of a sudden. Lucy appears perplexed. When they bring up Faith, Lucy becomes frightened. Sharon sobs, wondering why they are experiencing this once more. Nick is reminded by Sharon that Faith had been drinking when she had her previous accident. Nick believes Faith wasn't drinking. Sharon is curious as to Faith's refusal to open her eyes. Lucy screams out to Faith, who is beginning to stir, after she hears the disturbance. Alan tells Tracy that he wants to be where she is, just like he told Jack. Tracy is aware of this, but she is particularly concerned about that. Tracy had assumed Alan would be in New York. Tracy believes Alan is under duress. Tracy fears that Alan will sacrifice everything significant, and then come to regret it. Sally enters the downstairs area. According to Adam, he left his iPad at work. Sally says, it's late. Adam claims it's related to employment. Sally is curious about the server that stores all of the backup data. Billy is on the opposite side of the door when Adam turns to go. Alan informs Tricy that he decided to leave Paris on his own. Alan is unable to identify the problem. Tricy discusses the benefits and drawbacks of her residence in New York. Tracy says she questions whether living in New York rather than Genoa City will give him a better chance. Alan is unable to comprehend. Alan hears Tracy say something very important. She's not just Jack's or Abbott's sister. 
She's a unique individual. As their connection is still young and nascent, Tracy says she wants to safeguard it. Consuming adventure. According to Tuesday, August 277's Young, and the restless recap, Faith hears Lucy's voice and wants to know if she's there. They are all on the other side of the hospital curtain, Daniel affirms. Nick opens the curtain uncomfortably to let the females see one another. Lucy apologizes while crying. Lucy claims whole responsibility. When Heather's attorney appears, she interrupts, telling him that everything is well and that they can Faith talk about anything else later. while Lucy continues to blame herself and scream that she did this. Billy's presence has Sally curious as to why. Adam tries to block Billy, but Billy just charges in. Billy claims he has had enough waiting. Billy assumes that Adam hasn't yet spoken the whole truth to Sally. Billy tells them that Chelsea was brave enough to tell the truth. Billy is accused of being intoxicated by Adam, but Sally wants him to stay. Faith is unable to sleep despite Lucy's cries. Faith assures Lucy that she's fine, and that they both need to take a nap at the moment. Sharon concurs with Faith as Nick heads to the doctor. Daniel leaves to go with Nick. After drawing the curtain, Sharon takes a seat beside her daughter. Faith says she's sorry, and Sharon asks what went wrong. Lucy keeps attempting to see through the curtain at Faith. Heather queries Lucy's meaning when she says it's her responsibility. Lucy acknowledges that she stole vodka covertly. As everything is going on, Faith tells Sharon that Lucy was drinking when she was found, and Sharon inquires as to if Faith was as well. Faith disputes that. Every girl tells their mother the tale in her own words. Thus far, the stories appear to align. Faith grabbed a towel from the back seat after Lucy puked in the car on the way home. But Faith only needed that one moment to spiral out of control. The Restless and the Young Tuesday, August 27, 2024, recap. Alan feels there is something to Tracy's worries. Although Tracy adores her family, she believes that in order to support them all, she sacrificed her personal needs. Alan wants to know how to make Tracy happy as he knows she already has a full life. Tracy is still in disbelief that they met. Alan wishes to shower Tracy with affection. Tracy desires to offer Alan the same thing. Billy needs to be heard out by Sally. Billy and Adam exchange glances. Billy screams that Adam didn't tell Sally anything. Adam looks over at Sally, and all he sees is her wounded heart and teary eyes. Daniel and Nick are conversing with a physician, no injury to the inside. She wants to have a private conversation with Lucy's father, but Daniel allows her to do so. Faith's talk screen came out clear, but Lucy had alcohol in her system. Tracy wonders what Alan might do in Genoa City if he decides to move there. Alan mentions giving speeches. Alan also mentions that he might write a book. Writing a book about Martin is Alan's dream. Adam and Billy come face to face. Adam motions for Billy to go. Billy argues that Adam ought to tell Sally the truth. Billy apologizes to Sally for letting her know in that manner. Billy departs and Sally yells at Adam. Nick visits Faith's hospital room once more. According to Nick, the doctor wants her to stay an extra night for peace of mind. Daniel has returned with Heather and Lucy. Daniel won't tell Lucy or Heather anything more, even when the doctor wants to perform additional testing. Daniel adds, let's just worry about getting you through the night, and Heather is alerted. Daniel says they can talk about it further when Lucy gets home. Sharon is standing on the opposite side of the curtain, listening intently. Lucy admits to her parents that she had alcohol. Adam tells Sally the truth at last. Chelsea tells Billy about the Adam confrontation when Billy runs into her in the interim. Billy is asked if Chelsea can forgive him. Billy answers, I'm not sure. Returning to ALLY, Adam claims he believed keeping it a secret to be the proper course of action. He's called a coward by Sally. Faith seems obsessed with her fall, which is making Nick and Sharon remember terrible things. In the meantime, Lindsay Ashby's character Cameron Kirsten appears to harass Sharon once more. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.